Vanessa Astrology Coroner, and this is your daily horoscope and energy reading for June 8th. That is on a Monday. And I have good energy to talk about and bad energy. Let me tell you a little bit about how, how I view energy. Now, yes, and every day I can probably find an obstacle to overcome. And and, and we, can, we can go into it and we can talk about it, but I don't see the reason to do that. And here's the thing. It's summer. It's beautiful. There is so much amazing energy. Why do you want to get caught up in squares and opposition when we can talk about sextiles and trines and things to make our lives progress? And so, although some of you may not feel as optimistic as some of my dailies feel, I'm not, I don't want you to focus on the quincunxes and the squares and the oppositions because that doesn't get us where we need to go. We want to move forward. We want to move up. We want to progress. And we want to just soak up this beautiful energy that the universe has given us on a daily basis. So let's talk about June 8th energy because I'm very excited about it. So I'll give you the opposition. And that way, for those of you that are experiencing opposition and can't overcome it, there's some validation for that. And and you guys do need that. I think you do. Um, the moon in Pisces is going to be squaring off with Mercury in Gemini, the sun in Gemini, and Mars in Gemini. What does this mean? This means that your son, your core, your self, the, how you confidently pursue life, how you confidently communicate, how you progress, how you, how you go after everything that's very, very passionate in your life is in opposition. It's in a square with your moon. That's your emotional state. So if something is tugging you down emotionally, you're going to be defeated in the confidence sector of your life. You're not going to want to push forward. You're going to want to submit. You're going to want to analyze. You're going to want to pull back. You're going to want to internalize all of this. And that is going to go against three primary energies. And that is Mercury, how you communicate, how you think, how you use your mind on a daily basis. And this is this is your this is your lower mind. So this is how you progress through life, you know, in your daily to day thinking. This is going to be in your confidence, in your internal structure, how you pursue life, how you how you feel deep inside in your core. If you feel confident, then you pursue life with a gusto. If you don't feel good in your core, if you don't feel good internally, then you're going to submit and you're going to feel like life is beating you. This is Mars. This is how you per, how you passionately pursue things. And this is all sitting in sweet little Gemini. Gemini energy wants to play. It wants to go. It, it has so much energy, so much fire. It wants to blow around and it wants to just experience life. But Pisces, the moon in Pisces is pulling it down, is making it think. Now, Pisces is the oldest energy in the zodiac. And so this is the wisest energy that we can have. And so even though you have this sweet little youthful energy in you telling you to spin around like a little Tasmanian devil and go out there and get all you can get from life, the oldest energy in you, the, your moon is saying, yes, if you do that, this is what will happen. Yes, if you pursue that, this is what will happen. Yes, if you communicate like that and you go off and you flirt with that person, this is what's going to happen. That is what you're experiencing today. What I like to do is concentrate on the best part of the energy today because there's beautiful sex times today. And it is all in Venus in Leo. Now, Venus makes you more attractive. It's a pleasure-seeking energy. And in Leo, it is completely a pleasure-seeking energy. It wants you to live large, have fun. It wants you to be romantic. It wants you to pursue romantic endeavors. It wants you to energize your life. It wants to go after life 
in 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 such a big and like just huge way it wants you to be confident it wants you to just fill all of your senses with everything that it desires that's what this energy when it gets in leo however with your moon in Pisces, you have this wise one saying, okay, yeah, I know you've got this big, huge life you want to live, and it's so big, but I'm going to oppose all the energies that Leo is, that Leo and Venus is um, sextiling. And so Mercury in Gemini, is still in retrograde at this time, is going to be sextiling Venus in Leo. So this is going to make you feel like, even though you've got this wise one buzzing in your head and telling you that you should go for it, you're going to have something in you that says, you know what? I deserve to be happy. I want to pleasure seek. I want to have a good time. I want to communicate. And even if I don't communicate effectively, I bet you I'm going to have at least a good time temporarily. This is a temporary energy. This is not long term. I want you guys to really get that through your head. This is not something that's going to generate long-term results. However, it will generate short-term happiness, and it'll revitalize you. And maybe that's what you need right now because life has been difficult. It's been real. It's been opposition. It's been quincunxes. And so maybe you just need a little chill time to say, okay, I need to imagine the best-case scenario. I really like that um, Venus and Leo is going to be trining Saturn and Sagittarius, so we're not going to have this opposition. They're going to work so well together that you may not learn a bunch of lessons about your last, your past right now. You may not dive into a deep thinking mode, but that's okay because not every day needs to be about self-exploration. Some days just need to be about pleasure-seeking. It needs to be about realizing that there's a reason why it's good to be here. It's good to be alive. It's good to, why you should feel good, why you should go after what you feel, you know, and if it's temporary, it's temporary. If it's fleeting, it's fleeting. That's okay. Because sometimes life is just about the good thing. And that gets you over the hump of the really, really bad things in your life. Now, Jupiter in Leo is going to be sextiling the sun in Gemini, and it's going to be sextiling Mars in Gemini. This is tremendous, wonderful, wonderful energy. Anytime you get Jupiter in Leo and Venus in Leo in all of this good moon, I can't tell you how much life is going to be about seeking the simple pleasures, the things that make you feel, feel good, self-gratification. It's going to be about feeding your ego and feeding how you pursue life and getting you pumped up for the next phase in your life. And that's what we need to do right now. It's all about beauty and and just a good time. I mean, to be quite frank with you, this is a highly sexual energy. You know, when it gets in this position, it's very, very sexual. So you could just think about if you are yearning for a relationship to go to the next level as far as in sexual gratification, this could definitely take it and kind of push it in that level. Because you know what? You're done being alone. You're done, you know, not having what you want. Will this generate a long-term result? I don't think so. But it will generate a very good time. And the reason I say this is because Neptune and Pisces is going to be squaring off with your Mercury and Gemini. And so Neptune and Pisces is, you know, unveiling the veil. It's not going to be this real long-term cosmic match that you want, but it's going to be a beautiful energy. This day is gorgeous. Yes, it has squares. Yes, it has opposition. But for the most part, I don't, I think if you get your emotions, if you check your emotions and you say, okay, today is not about the day for the end all be all, make my life advance. Today is just about the moment. It's just about the present. It's just about right now. If you can wrap your head around that, you are going to have a fabulous, beautiful day full of opportunity, joy, 
love, romance, creativity. You're going to have a wonderful day on communication. You're going to have you're going to feel good. You're not going to be stuck in Saturn's classroom. You're going to be out and about and feeling energized and feeling this incredibly beautiful experience about being human and being alive. I hope you enjoy this day. It's completely fabulous. And I look forward to talking to you guys again tomorrow.